Hi everyone, this is Holly. In this video, I'll be showing you how I created my entry for the Soap Challenge Club's One Pot Wonder Technique. I think this is probably my favorite technique out of all the ones I've learned in the Challenge Club over the years. I made several attempts, and if you'd like to see those, I'll post them at the end of this video. Amy Warden hosts the Challenge Club and was our instructor for the One Pot Wonder. Amy's technique was inspired by this beautiful soap created by Tanya of Soapish. I'll provide links below to both Tanya's Instagram and the Soap Challenge Club website. Before I get started, I just wanted to emphasize the importance of always protecting your eyes and skin during the entire soap making process, even when cleaning up your pots and utensils. Lye and raw soap can damage your eyes and burn your skin, so besides protecting yourself, be sure to keep kids and pets away from the area as well. If you're new to soap making or want to learn more on lye safety, I always provide links below my videos to a couple of great series on basic soap making. For this soap, I decided to go with an orange and blue color palette. For the orange colorants, I used I Like Clay that I hydrated with a little distilled water. And I also used paprika infused sunflower oil just to enhance the orange color a bit. For the blue, I used indigo powder and activated charcoal, mixing each separately with some sunflower oil. For the white layer in the middle of the soap, I just added some white kale and clay to help lighten it a bit. I usually hydrate my clays just to make them easier to blend into the soap. Once the soap had reached emulsion, I stopped blending and divided it into three parts. I will blend a bit more later just to get the soap to a light trace. I had seven and a half cups of soap total in my batch, so I poured one and a half cups for the white layer, three cups for the two blue layers, and three cups for the two orange layers. For the blue soap, I added the indigo root until I was satisfied with the blue. Then I added a little activated charcoal just to darken it a bit. For the orange soap, I added some of the hydrated I like clay and then about one half teaspoon of the paprika oil. For the white soap, I added some hydrated kale and clay at a rate of about one teaspoon per cup of soap. I used the blender a bit more on all three colors until I detected a light trace of soap on top when I poured the soap back onto itself. I divided my orange and blue soap equally into smaller containers to help me keep the amounts even when I pour the soap into the pot. I poured my soap into the front of the pitcher, but you can pour on the side or back if you'd like. You'll also notice that I allowed the soap to run down the pitcher wall. This is so the soap stays on top of the soap below instead of sinking to the bottom.
When the soap was finished, I preheated my oven to its lowest temperature, which is about 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Then I turned the oven off and placed the soap inside. I took the soap out of the oven the next morning, but left it covered on the counter until that evening when I was able to unmold and cut it. I use a warm oven just to help the soap go through gel phase, which enhances the colors and allows me to unmold and cut the soap a bit sooner.